Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Terraria and Enigma Mod. So ladies and gentlemen, last episode we did a pumpkin moon, that's what we did. Oh, we slept our Christmas outfit. Huh. Well, anyway, as I said, we did the um, uh, uh, Christmas special was two episodes ago. Uh, oh my god, I have such a mind like Pumpkin moon, Jesus, that's what we did last episode. We fought the pumpkin moon, we fought against the pumpkin and the morning wood. It's pretty cool, managed to take down two bosses, and that's pretty good. Therefore, because of that, it's still snowing over. Because of that, eh, uh, what is the word? I literally have such mind blocks. Because of that, I said uh, we're gonna have now Golem here. We're gonna be infiltrating the jungle temple today and hopefully fighting Golem. Because we've already done everything else, like... All the pumpkin and frost moon enemies are dead, all the previous bosses, apart from all one's army, which is a bit too difficult for us yet. Apart from that, everything else is complete. I wanna publish my video, good. That obviously minimized the game, but oh well, whatever. So yeah, the golem boss fight will be up next. But first, obviously, we have to go infiltrate into the jungle temple and take it out, clear it out, empty it, whatever you want to call it. It's gonna go and reach from here all the way to here, which won't be easy. But that's gonna be the ultimate goal. And then hopefully we're also gonna be able to prepare this place, change it into arena, and battle golem. But that's only, you know, our hopes and dreams. I don't know what actually is going to happen, we're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll probably let's just go there. I'm wondering if I should take on the Christmas trees or if I should let the Christmas... Nah, I'll leave the Christmas trees there. I'll leave my Christmas outfit on. Santa's still here. Yeah, that's that's the deal. That's what I said. When Santa Claus leaves, that's when I'm going to go and remove all the Christmas decorations. Until Santa's here, all the Christmas stuff is here as well. So we're going to wait for Santa to leave, then we're going to go and remove all the Christmas stuff. But anyway, without further ado, let's now go and teleport ourselves to the jungle temple because I'm really not bothered to walk all the way over that. So let's teleport ourselves. I don't know, here should be close enough. Beautiful teleportation worked like it always is. I don't know why I would not. Let's go and summon these guys and head towards the jungle temple. See if we can, you know, ah, oh, hello there, bro. See if we can, um, yeah. You know, bake it there for life. But yeah, it should be fine. There isn't too many mobs around. As the jungle temple, we're gonna go through this jungle water, and here we are. Here's the temple. It's filled with traps, so we gotta watch out. There are also traps over here at the entrance, but I took them down. I took them out the last episode, the end of last episode. I will take the lizard statue too. That'd be pretty nice. Anyway, here it is. This is the door that without this temple key, we could not open. Like, if I wouldn't have the temple room. If, oh. If I wouldn't have the temple key, then I could not open the door. There would be no way that I could go in. I could teleport in, but that's not funny. So obviously, because we took down Plantera a few episodes back, we now have temple key, and we can use this temple key to open, as it says, open the jungle temple door and infiltrate into the jungle temple. Which, uh, I was gonna say it'd be fun, but I think it'll be more dangerous than fun. But, uh, well, whatever. Still gonna be an experience, so, without further ado, cha-ching. The key has been used up and the jungle temple has been opened. Let's go, side of the temple. There's gonna be a lot of enemies, and I mean a lot of enemies. Let's go shoot some knowledge of those kids down there. Good. Now, I should have taken like a uh, danger sense potion so I could see where all the you know, dangers are. But I didn't do that hard. Probably should have closed the door, you know. Not like it would have mattered, but still. But let's train that kid before he's dead. Now we have these traps over here. I'll take them just so maybe we can use them to uh, put up the defenses in, um, in my home. Secure my home. Be pretty cool. Uh, not even necessarily my home, but just the entire compound would be very nice. Anyway, let's go and melt for you guys, but I should just melt for them. The game's lagging, the game, the game. The guys are dying, Jesus Christ. Um, now, uh, I really should have taken the day since, but I didn't. I just got a ruthless yellow set, so yo yo. Yeah, I guess cool. And yeah, I will take the danger since potion, because I want to go and sense that danger, so here it is. What is this? Danger since gem. Use the chocolate effect in higher tier gems. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a permanent effect, I guess. Whatever, now we can see all the traps. Uh, many, we can see the spikes and the traps themselves. I will actually take the traps. I'll leave the spikes, because they're... Well, the spikes can't even hurt the enemies, so I'm not taking them. But we'll take these traps and pressure plates, because... They are again, the would be... Healing potions, I'll take. And over here, we have the chest. The jungle temple chest, which... Well, we need to find them. They're spread all around the temple. And they're very important, so... If I miss any of them, that is the first one, right? Can I just go to get rid of all those kids down there? Yeah, I need to see a die. Oh, the Shadow Beast stuff is very good indoors. Yeah, it is. We're gonna go and Shadow Beast all those kids. Can I just, like, stop, bro? Yeah, thanks. You're dead. Shadow Beast those guys as well. Beautiful. Any of those guys be dealt with. And now, here it is the first lizard chest we obviously have. 
Solar Tapper, beautiful. That summons the eclipse, the solar eclipse, which I'm think I'm gonna plan. On. I think I'm gonna do the solar eclipse hopefully next episode. Yeah, that's a plan. I'm gonna do the solar eclipse next episode, and the episode after that we do the Martian invasion, and the episode after that we'll fight a few. Yeah, that's the plan. There's still all those guys there, and that's good. So here it is as, as the solar tablets are going to be used to summon the eclipse to be good because we're going to need it, so that's going to be useful next episode. For now, it's used as lizard furnaces, like some cool furniture, I guess. That's not, oh, 50 gold, I don't know where that all came from, but yeah, alright. Glow sticks, yeah, I'll leave those in there. The gravitation potions, but the most important, the lizard power cell. Use that lizard altar, this is the thing that summons golem, we're going to need a lot of those. Stop, bro. I want to get a pop -up. Go home, I shall. Put away my money. Come back, I shall. 50 gold, I don't know where it came from, but now I have, well, 70 gold and 4 platinum, which is pretty amazing. So, in other words, 470 gold. <laughs> anyway, teleport ourselves back. Here we are. We can use the fact that all the NPCs have despawned. Oh, yeah, also, solar tablet fragments, the enemies here have a chance to drop them. The solar tablet, fra solar tablet fragments are used to create the solar tablet. So, if we don't find the solar tablet, we can always craft it. But we already did find, find one, or maybe if we don't find any more. And we want to have more than we can already scrap it. I just set some traps down, which ain't ideal, but whatever. I'm up here, they're down there. Now, stop. Get, get up here. Good. Now, this guy's getting on my nerves, so we're gonna go and throw some knowledge at him. Yeah, take that, bro. Now, he's dead. We're gonna have to mine up all the pressure plates. Good. Take that as well. Now, take a train, bro. That's not a train. Take a train, bro. Yeah, take a train out of here. Good. Now, there's a lot of some traps over here, just. This place, if they'll be like the, I don't know, the local trapping com comedy. They're coming at it. You guys have to win the award for the most trapped place. Jesus Christ, so many traps, spikes, everything, everywhere. God. If I wouldn't have my wings on, I'd just fucking not dead by now. But you know, I, I just wasn't standing up. Spikes don't get into too much damage. Now, I can take all these traps. Ow, ow, stop, stop. Oh, that's a lot of flying snakes. But at least they're both flying snakes. Oh, uh, yeah, can you just, just not? Yeah, that's pretty much appreciated. You just, just die. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, very much appreciated. Alright, I'll take all that. That set something off. Yeah, maybe I thought we're gonna go and pick that up. Thanks. This chest has an R parcel. Good, I will take that. Solar Tupper Farmers, I'll also take Red Husk. I don't need that. I'll leave that in there properly, but I'll take the money. I'll just go and just, you know, uh, uh, quick stack. No, that's not what I want to do. That just put everything away. Can okay, I just stop, bro? Yeah, stop. Now, I don't think there's anything else that I want. Can you just. Ow! Can you just not, bro? Just not take some knowledge, would you? Yeah, you are, but you don't. I mean, you too, you take some knowledge, too. Stop, bro. Good. So, the Book of Knowledge is a very good weapon for indoors. So, it's probably gonna be our uh, very good weapon to use when we're inside a key at the temple. Good. Uh, can you just stop, bro? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just throw some knowledge at those kids. Now, uh, I don't think I need anything else. Teleportation potions are cool just to teleport ourselves around if we ever so wish. Abraham the Traveler Merchant has arrived. Nobody actually cares. The key sells and incredibly useless stuff, but yeah. I guess cool. Well, I said useless stuff. One of the things that he sold was the things that we needed for the Ankh shield, but you still get the point. I don't want I, like, I don't want him. I don't want his words. Yeah. Good. That sounds a bit less mean. I'll take that and that as well. This guy's trying to sneak up on me. But yeah. The thing he doesn't know is that I've played like. Ow, 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 no. Stop, stop. The thing that he doesn't know is that I've played Ghost Street and Wildlands, so and I'm officially like an amazing sneaker. Like, literally. Ow! I'm the king of seeking around, so yeah, no one can beat me. Uh, yeah, of course, that's totally true, I'll make that up. That's a mimic, I was gonna say, I don't think there's a gold access to the PS, that's a mimic. He's dead. Drop the, oh yeah, the, uh, cross necklace, yeah. In other words, a necklace or cross necklace. That's pretty cool. This cross necklace just increases length of invincibility after taking damage. The material, we can come out of a different drop from the mimic. Come out of the star cloak to make the star veil, which is pretty cool, but I don't really care about it. So stop, Jesus Christ. Ah! I'm gonna pay more attention because this place is dangerous. It's a present, I'll sacrifice. Yep, yeah, I might have to sacrifice anything. Oh, we got a one present, that's not nice. Need a few more. Ow, 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 we're dead, we're so dead. Actually, well, you might as well kill me. No, actually, no, yeah. Now, I was gonna say maybe don't kill me, but yeah, I'm dead now. I dropped 23 gold. How could I drop 23 gold? Get me back inside of there. Yeah, ah, oh, the traps are still here. What an actual. I died again. And I dropped by 23 gold that I just picked up. 
But we go all the way back over there. And we're gonna wait for all the traps to disappear. Nope, they're still here. Right, it's taking them a very long time to disappear. But I'm gonna go over here, pick up all my money, and then I'm gonna leave with my 23 gold that I just lost five times. I'm gonna put it away in here, because I don't really feel like using all my money. Deposit sack. Beautiful. Now you have five blood on coins. How wonderful. Now we're gonna go back here. We'll get again. No traps around to kill us. And we're gonna go down here and kill everyone else. My danger sense potion danger says danger sense to itself out. That makes any sense. In other words, it's dead because I'm dead. Good. And that works. I'm not gonna bother taking anything, any of the traps from here. Never mind, I will because, you know, health and safety and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go and take all that up. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, good. Wonderful. Now, why do you have to be everywhere? So you're dead. Uh, I have a good heal up for myself. Good now. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's set those up. Heal or whatever. Well, what are those fucking. I mean, you start to do your thing. I'm gonna go and try to kill everyone. That doesn't sound good, but ow, oh, alright, great. Mind that up. Good, then we can mind this up too. Yeah, good, the traps are gone. And we got everything else, beautiful. So, it'll also be a pretty good place to go and get a lot of water. Oh, that's a good bunch of them. So, this will, also, uh, pop this will also be a good place to get loads of um, wires. Because all these traps are connected by wires, we could mine these wires up too, but I'm just really not bothered. So, yeah. There's uh, some dark traps that are cool, but the best traps are all the fire traps. Because they're just the most damaging. The problem is they're the rarest. The best, but also the rarest. So, a lot of lizards, I'm not going to go through them. Because I'm quite literally mouth through them. Drop on the spikes, take some damage, just pick up all their loot. Good. Now you can also die, bro. Get on her, get on dead. Good. Mind that away, that's another chest. God, we've only found one chest so far. Or two. Hmm. That's the table. Yep, we only found two chests in total. Huh, that's. A bad omen, if I've ever seen one. Yep, alright, well, whatever. We can open that, and we found another parcel. That's free until. Wait, wait a second. I thought I only had two. Well, whatever, in that case, we must have found more. And you take those, I want that, I want that, I want that, I'll leave everything else in that case then. Thanks for that, I guess. Alright, that's a bat. God, in this game, literally everything is your enemy, even the bats are trying to kill you. Thank Jesus. Whatever, pick up all that. How close are we? Okay, we're very close to the final chamber. So I've got a lot of time in episode wise. Alright, nice. We can go through here. Good, that's just some yeah, that was kind of painful. Snail shell, I don't really want the snail shell, but I guess it's kind of cool. Pick that up. Got some stuff. I've defeated 50 of lizard. Ah, oh, cool. I really didn't care that I defeated 50 wizards. Not wizards, lizards. I killed 50 of these things by now. God, that's probably not a good side. Now you can you just, yeah, take some stations, and stations, and train them. The weapon's called a stationator, still. But now I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm gonna go for the other six skeleton archer, that's why. Good. Like he's dead, good, we're gonna go try to pick up all that good stuff, but it won't be easy, all these imbeciles around. Stop, 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 there's a floating, a floating, but a rolling head on the ground. Rolling stones are more like rolling heads, oh my god, stop! Uh, that beautiful. Now, can you just, just not. Yeah, thanks. Ah, uh, you two, how are you? How are you still alive? You survived all my attacks. Right. Whatever. Now I can open this chest, get that. My infantry is actually full. I don't want all that stuff, but I will take that. And I will take Danger Sense. Yeah, that's gonna be cool to have. Dynamite, I'm just gonna go in for the dynamite over there, really. Okay, that's terrible for a run! It just blew up a table. That's literally it. Just blew up a table with some spikes. Ah, well. I guess cool, but gotta make a wall. Yeah, we're gonna just make a wall of spikes. Don't know what that good did me, but there is now a wall made of spikes. Great. And now I gotta get down there. There's a lot of spikes. I think I kinda gotta, you know, move these spikes. Stop, bro, 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 bro. You're dead. I'm gonna go and actually mine these spikes up. And I'm gonna go and leave. Can I just quickly wait? Bane mine on this. Uh, spikes. Add them to the whitelist. And beautiful. Bane mine most of them. Stop. Just stop. Can you just get away from me? Get away from me. Get away from me. Ah! Excuse me, this is hard. Mine out. Mine that up. And mine that up. And mine that up. There's a lot of spikes that we have. Which ain't ideal. That's not ideal, but... I thought if I have wooden spikes. I don't know what I can do with them. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a mimic here as well. Which ain't ideal. Uh, yeah, you're... Ah! You're all trying to kill. Because the stove, it decreases uh, potion. Yeah, we're just to cool down potions. Cool, don't really need that currently. My things only are pretty cool. Can we just please get into this goddamn chamber? So I can be able to teleport a little bit without having to walk here every time. Beautiful, and it's on chest. 
Take that. And dynamite. I'm just gonna throw it. Just, yeah. Take that. And throw the dynamite. It's gonna be a trap. Another gonna, gonna be all blown up whenever they come along. And. Ah, he actually survived a dynamite explosion. Well, at least I'm gonna go off whatever. Take those. Ow! Stop. You really want to die. That's where you just ensure yourself, lads. Alright, they're all dead. Now I can. Ah, okay, never mind. The trap is already disabled. Now I can go and get all these. Ah, stop, stop, stop. It. I'll stop right. Anyway, here we are. We have arrived at the main chamber hall. Take like, my jigger. There's a lot of lizards everywhere. But the spikes are. First of all, we're gonna have to go and remove all the spikes. Then we're gonna have to remove all the enemies. And then I'm gonna be able to go and actually fight Golem. Someone Golem, fight Golem, all that good stuff. Mine all that up. And mine all that up. Good, and a lot of stuff in the ground, so we're gonna go and get rid of that. And I can't actually get rid of the trap, so I'm gonna go and smack it so it gets it down. And now these guys are really starting to get a nerf, which ain't they do. I don't know how they're all spawning that he'll, they're probably covering this stuff. He has to push the block of the entrance out. Not ideal, but whatever. So we can mine that up, then we we'll go mine these up. Good. Do not have any blocks? I do not have any blocks that I can use to go and block out the entrance. So what I would do is block out the entrance some blocks, I don't have any blocks though. So yeah. Actually I do have some an idea, right? Go back, retreat, retreat, retreat. So I'm actually here. Take these 35 spikes. Wooden spikes. Get back into there. Beautiful. Fill all these in the tiles, good. And then you can make a wall of the spikes. I'm so smart. Here you go now. Literally a reinforced wall made of spikes. Because now no one will get food. Alright, the pack, can you just stop? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, right, beautiful. Now no one will get through there. Like, this is the most safe place ever. Part of the dudes that spawn us out of the chamber, no one else is going to get them. We literally made a wall of spikes. Sadly, these guys don't get hurt by the spikes. Makes no sense, but whatever. Anyway, now we can kill all those imbeciles that have spawned us out of here. Alright, I think we put, like, we put lights everywhere that should spawn us out of here, so yeah. Well, that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me all that. Give me all that. And everything else, right? In that case, we're going to take that and that. And nothing else, right? Stop the spawning side of here, bro. This place is so big that everyone just carry on the spawning side of here, either way. Right, we're going to take that. And we're also going to take that. And we're going to go and just snap everyone. Beautiful. Now, let's go and actually build a platform with the Lego stuff. All the arena stuff. Yeah. Abraham, the traveling merchant has reported. I don't really care. Give me a minute. This place will become an arena before you know it. Alright, so the arena is ready, but there's one little issue. My inventory is filled to the brim with a bunch of useless crap. So, let's quickly dispose of it, shall we? And actually, I'm to keep that where it is. It's quickly going to grab all these useless items. They're not going to be useful for us, and we're going to need a lot of room. And, well, I guess we're going to need a room in, van in our inventory, but whatever. I don't like having my inventory clogged with a bunch of stuff. So, go quick stack what you can quick stack away. We literally quick stack nothing away, great. Well, building supplies too, we're gonna go and smack all, smack all these statues in. Uh, that I need all these tables and chairs and yeah, ah, right, stop, he's dead. Now instead of here, I can't fit anything, anything, I can't fit inside, anything inside of there, but I think I'll do fit, now I can't fit anything inside of there, I've got to clog these rooms with so much stuff. I'll be able to probably put a lizard furnace right up here, won't I? Yeah, be, yeah, that's there now, don't know why I put that there, but I just want to put it somewhere. Now, lizard parcels, I'll need those to summon the boss. All the tablet fragments, I'll be in the materials chest. Good, we can use those later. We already have a solar tablet, so that's pretty nice. Potions, I'll use those teleportation potions in a quick second. Those are all uh, equipment. Put that away. And. Mm, that away, good. And ammunition, we're gonna go and put the arrows away. Traps, I'm gonna deal with in a minute. That's ranged weapons. We're gonna go and put one of these yellows away. I'm gonna sell the rest of the yellows. These potions, I'm gonna drink them now. This one teleported me into just a cave in the middle of nowhere. Cool, this one teleported me yet again, just in the middle of nowhere. Cool, don't know why I really even bothered to take those potions, but yeah, that I guess. Whatever, that's that out of the way. Now I can go back over here. And that's why a quick sec more stuff away, rather than what that old one, but whatever. Now, weapon, weapon, wooded spikes, uh, probably gonna go put all some trap chests here. Traps, yep, that's gonna all go inside of there. Beautiful, that's that, that's inventory clear. In that case, we can go back inside of the temple main chamber, or what the hell you wanna call it. And I guess, but for ado, let's just go summon Golem, see if we can take him down. I don't have any spawn points, I guess I could go and set a spawn point in this ruined house, but I have to go and, well, fix this house up first of all, and then maybe I could, you know, turn it into my spawn point, but is it really worth it? Mmm, doesn't make it is. So, in that case, we're only gonna have one shot at this. If we die, then we're dead. So, yeah. 
It's really annoying me because that's, that's just not finished off. So, you know, um, yeah. Spike. Yeah, good. Scoot just going. Uh, yeah. Can I just please just... Uh, ah, there, beautiful girl. That's way better. Now that's actually fixed. It's not, you know, holy. Like it's holes. So good. Now, anyway, with the barrier in place and the platforms and all that stuff, for well, everybody, let's just waste less time. Everyone is spawned, so... Well... Here we go, we have seven attempts. Oh, some things are out here. Stop, bro. Stop, just don't spawn. Okay, just don't spawn. Just don't spawn. Just don't spawn. Okay, so you're dead. Dude. Golem has been summoned. So to kill Golem, we're gonna go and generally destroy his arms. When his arm once his arms are destroyed, we can then fully focus fire on his body. He has two stages. One where his head is on his body, one where his head is dispatched. Dispatched on the body. We'll change ideal because then the head, then you have to dodge two things, the head and the body. But you still can you only damage the body. If you don't just go ahead in the boss, then you might bigger. You still gotta, you know, damage the head of it. Damage the body heavy. So you shoot these fireballs which are very annoying because they go through blocks. He also goes down when you go underneath him, so. Golem is a bit of an annoying boss, I must admit. This health bar is going down fast, but when this health bar defeats completely, when this goes down completely, maybe not, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, just go and kill this annoying guy. You can go down, so I can go up over here, good. Yet again, I haven't fought this guy in a long time, so. Yeah, we're gonna go and get the technique down, a good way to dodge him, damage him, and then maybe we're gonna just fight him. I would've defeated him many times before, but yet again, it's been a long time ago now. I don't know where all these goddamn enemies are coming from, I don't know why I'm so weak as well, but you know, whatever. Anyway, now he's starting to shoot at me, so of course it's a bit bad that I'm damaging him. He has a bit half health, or like around half health. I don't know if that health bar, I don't know if his health, if his head will fall off when his health bar depletes, or if his head will fall off if, when, I will, no, his, his head will fall off when he's probably dead. Anyway, we're nearly dead, so that's how I do look down the post time quickly, and I'm dead. I just didn't... I was just too slow to post time, and Golem just keeps still rooting out. Well, that was a good first attempt. We managed to nearly kill him, but I got destroyed by him, so that's not a deal. There's too many enemies at spawn, like too many, so I'm gonna go and quickly disable enemy spawn, so don't none of these himself spawn and disrupt me while I'm fighting Golem. That's... I don't know, this stuff. Get that away from me. Good. Now... I still have more presents, probably gonna open up here. I'm probably gonna open them up open them after we take them golem. So that wasn't too bad. We dealt a lot of damage to him, but we also took a lot of damage. So now let's maybe make less stupid mistakes and maybe take less damage. If we take less damage, we'll be able to take golem down. Good bye for let's go. Six attempts left. Beautiful. Here we are. Back at it again. I forgot to smoke that in. There won't be too much help, but there'll be some help. I'll take all the help that I can. Well, we haven't taken any damage yet, we already dealt bit of damage, tiny bit, so yeah, that's a good start. Now I'm Mr. Golem, I need to just get off, yeah. So we're very close to the border, I'll take up all those coins, but yeah, yeah, so you go above him, then you can go down. This chamber is way too small, but, well, I guess game developers could make it so it's really bigger, because there's a lot of unused space, like, I'll try to show you, but look, all this space is unused. You could use that space to make this fighting arena bigger, but I guess the main difficulty of this battle is that the arena is so small. It's better this battle would just be too easy if the arena would be any bigger, so... Eh. I guess they have a reason for making this so small. Anyway, one of his arms is already destroyed. This, this, this other arm is nearly also destroyed. The left arm is also nearly destroyed. But yet again, only nearly. Wait, do I have god mode on? I have god mode on. No! I didn't think... I didn't know I had god mode on. I thought it was off, but it was on, so... Well, that I just technically cheated to have the battle, but it really hurts. Now God Mode is actually off, we're doing this legitimately now. I, I thought I turned it off, but I guess I didn't. I guess I missed a bit of stuff. He does get very fast, like when you get when both his arms fall off. Well, well, when he basically gets below half health, so yeah. And this isn't, this isn't even the end of it. When his health bar fully depletes, then when his, then his head is gonna fall off, and then he's gonna have a brand new health bar, so. Golan's a very difficult boss. There we are. Never mind, he's a happy good half health. Now the head's off, and now it's, we're just attacking a body. Yeah, we're just attacking a body now. Ain't a deal, I have like to achieve half health. Yeah, I might have less of that now. Alright, regenerator is pretty nice. The gun's gonna go down here, it's gonna damage us quite a bit, it's a bit of a punk, so we're gonna now go and stop. Stop time, beautiful. Time stop is very useful, but yet again. Not the most efficient out of some damage, missed most of those attacks, which we really cares. We're very close to dying and we're very close to killing him. He has 5,000 health, which is pretty good. But we have, well, we're not dead, that's not a deal. One golem, just die. Alright, yeah, that's very close. Cool. very close call. Come on, just kill him, 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 kill
he had 900 health left as well. We were so close. So close. Well, that is attempt number two. We are incredibly close, so I think we should be able to have an attempt number three. That's the remains of the head. Interesting. Right, we should be able to have this now. Oh, why do I have so much money on me? Like, Jesus Christ, where does all this, where does all this stuff just keep on coming from? Like, for the love of God, Brett, move. Good, where does all this money keep on coming from? Just, I want to know where the hell does all this money keep on coming from. Anyway, two attempts down, two attempts failed. Let's go for attempt number three. We should be able to have this now. Let me just quickly tell about myself away. That, good. We should be able to have this now. Yeah, that's a pretty cool background, by the way. So, quickly... Uh, stretch ourselves, get ourselves ready. Good, do that. And now, let's go and do this. Also, we might, might need to fight him again because he drops things called beetle shells and we can use the beetle shells to make beetle armor, which is even better than the turtle armor. So we might need to fight him again if we don't get enough. Well, whatever, that'll be a problem for later. Summon on him. Here we go again. The, golem. the first stage is very easy, the second stage is also difficult. So, yeah. And yeah, I took some damage and didn't need to, but I was on four damage and okay, it ain't too bad. Right? The first stage is incredibly easy, like it's literally just he's very easy. But when when he goes when he goes in the second stage, when his head falls off, then the third is a proper difficult part, right? So yeah. I had to go hit him more. I don't think I hit him enough. So yeah, that's a uh, fireball from others. Right. Now before uh, before the arms were stopped for the never mind. So uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, I thought that the hands were like Yeah, I think that's I think I don't know, we're not expert mode. Whatever, anyway, Cascarium is beating this guy over. Beating us over, beating this guy up. Now he's gonna jump over here, then we're gonna go above him. We're gonna be rather high above him, he's gonna go up, and he's gonna hit us right in the face. Yeah, look, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Wait, let me close the gate. That's what I was trying to say. That his hands, um, he's doing nothing. That is, that his hands were, um, normally when we heard the hands, when they extended, when we heard them, the hands contracted again. But now, when his hands are weak, we can damage and they're still gonna be going afterwards. So, yeah, it's, uh, Small little feature for the comments on. Good. His hand is nearly destroyed though. Good. It is destroyed. Good. Now it's just a body. When his hands are destroyed, that's when he yet again turns into a strong bloke. That's hard to defeat. So I don't know if it's really good to destroy his hands, but I guess you kind of have to destroy his hands. Whatever. I'm gonna not use my time stop yet because I might need to use it later. I am very tempted to make the thing that increases uh, the time that the time stops for. But I think I need some things that don't have yet. Well, I'll check what I need. Anyway, the head is detached. So I guess. Good. Yeah. Really? And you know, he's coming very close to us, it's not ideal, that's literally invading my person's face. I'm gonna go quickly stop time now. Maybe I use it a bit too early, maybe I use it a bit too late, I don't know, I don't care. Good. Oh, that was some proper good damage right there. Alright, cool, now we're gonna go and die across over here. 6,000 health left, that's pretty bad. We're again very damaged, I'm gonna use my healing potion now, and that's uh, just suck at the ceiling. I should have made the ceiling a lot less, you know, wriggly as it is now, but whatever, I didn't. Now we're very weak, I think we're gonna have to tank this last stage because we shoot so many bullet eyes. No, 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 oh my god! Hit even less health now! 193 health, and I got stuck! God damn ceiling, give me a minute. I'm gonna really go and remove this. I kinda need to get a big pickaxe. So, uh, yeah, I cannot actually remove the walls yet, I'm not supposed to have the capability of destroying these jungle walls. But I am going to give myself a capability because I don't like when I get stuck on things. I don't like when I die because of very stupid reasons. And I'm a gamer, but I'm a gamer that rages a lot. So yeah, let's quickly go and yeah, just quickly trim out the jungle. Well, as uh, yeah, torch. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say, but kind of yeah. And then destroy all that, and then we can destroy all that too. Beautiful, beautiful. No evidence that anything ever happened over here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now we'll pick up this torch. Good, we have this torch. We can dump those lizard bricks. Put ourselves over here and get rid of all those. Beautiful. Now that the roof is actually, you know, correctly placed. Good. We can now go and dump that. Put this torch back up. And good. Now we should not be stopped by the stupidness of the roof. Good. We should be fine now. Now the arena is definitely ready. Now that the roof is flat. Good. Now drop that. Good. Uh, uh, yeah, good, beautiful. And now, attempt number... What is this? I can dump this pickaxe. Attempt number four, yeah. I guess we were nearly for a time rookie. But we just got stuck on the roof, which wasn't ideal. Now, here we go. Again! Let's go. Fourth time lucky, hopefully. Golem has awoken for the what, fourth time. Right. Come on, Golem, you boy. Let's take it down. Craft the armor that we can craft. And just be on our way. 
because I don't want to spend more time in this cursed temple than I have. So good after all the damage that we dealt with him. Now, go here, go in this newly improved roof. Good. I'm going to go with him. If you could just, you know, not let the roof appreciate it. And what I mean by not, I mean you just drop that on the ground at your own height. Guys, now that we're getting further away from him, the electric spark can actually damage him and actually deal more damage to him. Because before we were very close to him, the electric spark didn't have time to provide his bullets. Therefore, it dealt way less damage to him. So, now why do I keep on getting stuck? What is a block? It's actually a block. Wait, stop. Go and give me this block that you can get stuck on. Get rid of that. Good. It's, I can't even get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. Alright, we're going to get this solar pickaxe. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that block. block. I thought I turned on God mode for the love of God. I turned the wrong thing on. Or whatever. I just, I, oh my god, I just despawned him. Oh, I'm so pissed. Give me a quick second. Alright, so, we're back in this stage. Good. Uh, I, the reason I cut out that fight is because, well, we're running out low on time. So, yeah, we're back in this stage. I don't know what the hell happened to Golem. His head is behind his neck, which is kind of an, uh, interesting, but whatever, anyway. We're at this stage now, let's just carry on battling him. We have three attempts left after this. I took some damage, but whatever, not too much. Let's go and take him down. His head should fall up any minute now. Yeah, his hands. Yeah, I was trying to aim for his body now, so his hands are really Because the real thing I was doing, I was standing above him, and I was damaging from above. Okay, you know what I want, like, what I did, I was just turned on God mode, and I just stood inside of him and damaged him. But yeah, that's what I did. Anyway, now we're that we're actually fighting him, like I'm at this time. Let's go and just take him down. His arms should have been destroyed by this point, but they're not actually very weak. I don't know yet again why. Golem never gave me so much issues, difficulty before. I normally could defeat him very easily, but I don't know why he's just very difficult now. I have eyes just got a lot worse, or he got a lot stronger, or I don't even know what. But Golem is a very strong boss, I submit. We're probably gonna fail this attempt, but we're gonna have to have an hour attempt. God, my, I'm running so low on the video, so I just don't have all this. Stop! First time. But I should have to have to power it. Good. That's a lot of damage that he does to him. He's kind of healed, so we're going to have to deal with the health that he currently have. He gets very... Oh, my God. All right. We have to go and pick a different strategy. We were a lot worse there because I just did some dumb stuff. So, let's try this again. We have... Well, this is cells. I don't mind. Uh, yeah, we should we, well, we'll worry about the amount of lizard cells that we have. So, let's try this again. Go with him. I actually started to hate him now. Good. Hey, I forgot to spawn these imbeciles in, so yeah. Good. There you are. Come in, guys. Come in. Oh. I need to download a mod that lets me spawn at full health. Because it's so goddamn annoying when I don't spawn at full health. Like, I need to spawn at full health. That's such a stupid thing that you don't spawn at full health. Like, come on. I'm respawning. I can respawn at full health. Anyway, avoid that. Do some pretty good damage to him. Get rid of his arms. And it's not cheat like we did in the previous one, which I didn't show you. Uh, I want to take him down legitimately. I want to take him down legitimately because I've cheated in quite a lot of boxes. To take the, I've cheated to take down a lot of boxes so far, and I don't want to cheat to take his golden down. I will cheat if I have to, but let's hope that I don't have to. I was incredibly close on killing him, like I think like, a few turns ago. Well, he does. Yeah, two, two attempts ago. Or one attempt ago. Attempt before the current one. So yeah, his god mode is still on. No, it's off, so that means that we haven't taken any damage, right? Well, because I was checking if I had god mode on or off, I actually took some damage, but whatever. Anyway, now, golem, 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 my little friend. Uh, his head is going to detach, but his head detaches, then, well, it's just not fine. This arena is way too small, but I've managed to go and not take any damage yet, so yeah, well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go as far away from the as I can. Ah, oh, there's a lot of damage. Now the head is actually detached from the body. Now we've entered the difficult stage, that's what I want to call it. Now I teleport myself way too far away. Anyway, uh, yeah, now we've entered the difficult stage. Golem's very difficult. Golem's not too nice. He's dealing a lot of damage. Oh, I don't like him. Nobody likes him at this stage. So, yeah, let's go down. I did figure out a way to kind of, you know, beat him. Well, I beat him, I figured out a routine. A movement to keep thinking to do to avoid him. I go across, then I go down. He goes down, then I go up. I dodge him, then here they go down. It should work. It's such a shame that I picked this up so late. But I think the lane gentleman, Golem, has been defeated. Woo! Well, from the fact that we cheated to build the arena, we didn't cheat at all during the boss fight. So, I must say, Golem was the one of. We had a pretty big challenge, but we didn't cheat to defeat him. That's pretty cool. Give me that.
And let's just, yeah, yeah, turn that on and get out of here. I don't want to come back near here ever again. See ya. Beautiful now, these shells, not shells, power cells. It's a boss summoner, so I'm going to ship it into the boss summoner chest. Beautiful. Smack those into there. Now, nah, beautiful. Good. Now, let's go and open a treasure bag that I definitely actually deserve. So, oh, golem's dead. Golem's dead. Look at all these, you know, golem will disable and enable all that good stuff. Anyway, golem, we summon a lot of times, but eventually golem has been defeated. And now golem is ticked off the list. So now, next, we have the Martian Madness, but I don't want to do the Martian Madness. I want to go and do the Solar Eclipse next episode. So in that case, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> oh, sorry, next episode we're going to go deal with the Solar Eclipse. And probably, hopefully, make the uh, Terra Blade. Anyway, let's open this. Now, nah. ching! We got 19 shells. I don't know if that's enough or whatever. Broken heat ray. Let's go go and make that not broken because I don't like broken heat rays. Now, that is a superior heat ray. Beautiful. Now, that's this. That's heat ray. Pretty good weapon. Shoots heat, I guess. Then we obviously have the shiny stone. The shiny stone is just greatly increased life regen when not moving. So, if I stand still, then my life regeneration will just go soaring. And it's warding already, which is perfect. But I don't know what to swap it for. I think I'll swap it for this. But this gives me this gives me four defense because it's warding and plus a bonus for defense. So I'm gonna lose basically four defense if I swap it for that. Because this gives me eight defense, this only gives me four defense. That's four defense less. But I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna think I'm gonna sacrifice it. I have the warding stone now. And yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. Sorry, Molten Core, but you're gone. Why is that? Why are you inside of here, bro? Yeah, I think you can deal with him. You're pretty strong. Now, let's go and put away this. And the equipment good. The heat ray. I'm not gonna use the heat ray. I don't think I am. I like my sword weapons. I think I might actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap it for the shadow beam stuff. I'm gonna put the shadow beam stuff in ranged. And now, well, yeah. Uh -huh, that's where all my yellows went. I was gonna say I was gonna sell the yellows, but I don't know where they went. That's where they went to. Ruffless. Yeah, I'm gonna go and sell those ruffless. Beautiful, that's that mark. Sell those yellows in that case. Now, let her have it. Take my yellows, would you? Yeah, thanks. A lot of money. Put that away. And anyway, now we have though these husks. Uh, how many husks do I need to make the armor? So we can obviously make the armor and the wings. I don't want the wings already have wings, so I need six. Yep, that should be enough. Four, that's ten. Plus the eight, so. 18, we have enough, we're gonna have one spur, we can put that one away immediately, beautiful. Oh boy, today was definitely an eventful episode, I must admit, let's take our armor off, beautiful. And now, if we have a choice when we're gonna be crafting this right? just kill this goddamn guy, you just We're gonna have a choice before we make the armor. We can only make one type of helmet, so I'm gonna make that, boom. We can only make one type of leggings, so I'm gonna make those, boom. But we have two different types of chain, uh, shells. We have the shell, and we have the scale mill. The scale mill gives us 20 defense. Put 8% increase melee damage and 6% that. But this gives us only 5% increase and only get 5% increase melee damage. But it gives us 32 defense. And since I'm all about defense, I'm gonna take it. But enemies are more like target you, who cares? Chaching, we got it. Now from however much defense. Oh, from 91 defense which had before we now go to 99 defense. We're so close to having 100 defense, which is pretty amazing. 100 is a max better way you can go over, but. So we have 99 defense, beautiful. We're even strong, and also these little beetles that aren't us, which the damage taken reduced by 45%. So there will also be, well, first of all, the beetles start, the beetles are just gone. First of all, they start with 15%, then it gets stronger and go to 30%, then it get even stronger and go to 45%. So it has all the beetle things, but you guess, if, I, think you get, I think if you get hurt, they go down, but still, I think that would mean like the first hit, something like that, 45%, that's amazing. So now we're very strong, which is pretty good. So in that case, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna use my newly acquired strength for next episode, fight off against the solar eclipse, and the episode after that, we're gonna go and deal with the Martians. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, open these presents too, chang 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 We've got a snow globe, that's something that you actually use to for use some of the Frost Legion, cool. Call, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be too naughty, I'm gonna give that back to Santa immediately. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, so we've run out of time this episode, we managed to defeat Golem, so that is our ultimate goal. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed this video, hope to see you guys in the next episode we're gonna be fighting Solar Eclipse, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, hope you guys will have a Happy New Year, I'll still see you in Terraria. Before the new year, but actually, wait, will I? It's the 20, 20, 20, 20, 29th today, so no. Next Terraria episode, I 
should be in 2020. So, well, I guess have a happy new year. But I'll still obviously be able to say this to you in my in the escapist and returned. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. But before I leave, Santa, I don't want you to call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Goodbye, guys. See you in the next episode. I've recorded uh, this video is 40 minutes long. Whoopsie daisies. But at least we made some progress. So I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna chill out in here in Santa's grotto of Santa. We're gonna go and bake some cookies and do whatever the hell Santa does when Christmas is over.